make a good can shot. Can take it. And you can hear him talk and make, make a good shot. Bigger. At the line, he usually quakes his knees when he feels that he's going to hit the pocket. And <laughs> he just did it twice. Dickinson must regroup. Still has a potential 235. Mm -hmm. Nice high scoring lanes out here today. The, the scores are out there. Just make some good shots. Still five frames left. So in the sixth frame of our first match the senior roll off to determine the man that will go into the challenge match the winner of this game will get seventy five hundred dollars but then in the challenge match it's a winner take all twenty five thousand bucks and the seniors or the veterans are three wins against two losses against the national players so that will be our final match right now Dickinson trailing by thirty four can cut the lead to twenty four seventh frame So we have a three pin on the left lane for Gary Dickinson. Gary Dickinson trying to go right straight down about the first arrow or what we call the fifth board on these synthetic lanes today and pulls it left the target breaks up the three nine ten has an easy spare. Like about Gary Dickinson and there's Dick. first time in the convention center for the Florida Open in Tampa. Capacity crowd in this configuration. And Dale Eagle is leading by 34 pins. He finished first among 16 seniors in a roll off, head to head matches. And now he has a double working seventh frame. I hit and couldn't trip the four. It's the wobbly four. We're in Tampa, as we indicated. This is the home to one of the country's largest shrimp boat fleets and some of the largest <laughs> shrimp. <laughs> and I love that. So a spare in the seventh frame, and here's Nelson Burton, Jr. Thank you, Chris. With me, two of the greatest bowlers of uh, the past 15, 20 years. But you guys are good friends also. But $1 million, Peter, uh, where does friendship end? Uh, anywhere along the line, that money figure? Hey, me and Brian do a lot of things together. But I'll tell you what, when we step on that approach about 50 feet away, he's not my buddy anymore. <laughs> Hey, Beef, I've noticed that for the big tournaments, when they pay 50000 or more first, you're always there. The little ones you kind of lag back in the field. But uh, is that something you consciously do? Well, not only that, but the arena finals. I mean, this is what we're here for. This is, this is bowling at its best. You know, it's, it's, uh, I like to show off, and I know Pete does too. <laughs> Two of the best, Chris. They're in the next match, the first one to determine the championship. Back to you. Brian Voss wins the tan competition. <laughs> what a tan. All right, Dale Eagle now has to shoot a little bit to the left of center at the 10 pin on the left lane. And he too now has missed a single spare. Uh, let's take a look at that and see just how close that ball came to the lone pin. Well, not that, not that close. Well, Chris, that was just complete pull. He was probably yeah. going off of uh, Gary Dickinson sliding by the seven said, hey, there's a lot of oil in the center. I better try to slide it in there. It didn't work. Oh, and the four pin is tripped. Our old colleague up there in heaven, Billy Waylou, is smiling. He loved the <laughs> tripping of the four. Well, watch this. The five pin goes right by the four. The two goes around it, and it just bumps right back into the four pin. An unusual shot in days gone by, but uh, today's modern bowling balls, they really incite those pins. So now, Gary Dickinson has a chance to get right back in the match. Goodness. Strike here in the ninth, he'd only trail by 11. Gary Dickinson with eight national tour victories, four on the senior tour. He's been a member of the PBA for 28 years. Three national tour titles, one on the senior tour, Dale Eagle. Remember, that 
was a pressure shot that came after an open ninth frame. Well, Dale has been in the pocket all nine shots. He went solid eight, double, solid eight, double. Four pin, ten pin misses it. He needs two strikes right here to shut out Gary Dickinson as his wife, Jean Glenn, looks on. Now, Dale is pretty conventional. He's right here, a good slide. You'll see it get a loft on the ball right out to here, approaching this area, and then the ball trajectory right around the edge out to the first board. Needs two strikes to lock out Dickinson. That's better. That's better. Yes. Yes. That's better, Bo. Dale with his wireless. Kept that. Uh, the great shots are right on the channel line, <laughs> Nelson. They're just hanging there, aren't they? Well, that's the oil pattern, Chris. These guys can play anywhere on the lane. Uh, you know, in theory, there's seven arrows or feathers, whatever you like to call out there. The lane is 42 inches wide, but the best oil pattern to the pocket, best carrying angle right now is down the edge board. And one more strike, Dale Eagle would go into the challenge match, the final match today. That's good. That's good. Oh, man. Chris, that sets up a possibility of a tie. If Dale makes this spare, he'll have 215. That would Gary Dickinson have three strikes in the tenth. They would tie at 215. They'd have a two-frame sudden death roll off. All right. Just 50 years old. Dickinson is 54. He nailed it for a 215. Now Gary goes to work. Needs all three strikes to tie. That's a big order, Bo, isn't it? Well, if you haven't been in arenas, and I think as you get a little bit older, it may get a little tougher, but he may appreciate the moment, and I know he'll throw a good shot. Solid 10. My, oh my, what a bad break. Leg. So he'll get $5,000. As I told you, he had won another challenge match in 94 against Norm Duke. So now it'll be Dale Eagle that'll be uh, a chance for more money. Okay, this ABC Sports presentation, the professional